tickets are like $600 for the cheapest ones right now, so I'm gonna sneak in. I can't get you in through here because it's locked. No dice. Next strategy is the media tent. I don't have a physical ticket. I'm with the Red Coats. I'm doing their media. And you'll have to get a media credential. What's your last name? I got it! <laughs> it f***ing worked. Hello, people. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. Today, I'm gonna try to sneak into a football game. The SEC Championship between the University of Georgia and the University of Alabama. The tickets are like $600 for the cheapest ones right now, so I cannot afford a ticket, obviously, so I'm gonna sneak in. Honestly, I'm a little nervous. Um, I've never really done anything like this. I really don't know what is gonna happen. Um, I do have a plan though, to tell them that I'm with the band, hence this, this shirt. When I was in college, I used to go to the UGA and um, I was in the marching band and they gave us these shirts that I kept over the years. And I'm gonna try to use that to my advantage today. Um, the band has a pep rally at 1.15, so I'm gonna show up like right after with my camera that looks kind of fancy and I'm dressed in a way that I could, be, it could be believable that I am on the media team or something. Looking kind of trendy today, not gonna lie. <laughs> and so I'm gonna show up right after the band finishes the pep rally and be like in a hurry and be like, oh guys, you know, talk to whoever and be like, oh man, I left my uh, my credentials at home. I'm, I'm just coming from class. I had to be in Athens, that's where EGA is. And I couldn't get out of my class, I had to take a final, And but here I am, I'm late, sorry, I don't have my pass. And that's my plan. So maybe, maybe, maybe it'll work. There's a very slim chance. I talked to, I actually have some friends um, that are working today at the event and they told me that it's gonna be damn near impossible to get in. But uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna stay optimistic because I, I have to be optimistic today. <laughs> so join me. All right guys, so from here on out, I am the social media coordinator and drumline instructor for the UGA Red Co Band. That's me. <laughs> I have all my props, I have my camera, I have some sticks in my bag, I have some, some drumline music in my bag, so when they go through it, everything will check out. I just won't have my ticket. So I haven't been to a college game day all season and I forgot how mad it is. It's crazy here. It's thousands of people. Alcohol's in the air. This guy's telling you to come to Jesus. Instead of poison, it's like the Holy Spirit is like makes us like Bro. Really, like, sweet and awesome. There's so much going on. It's gonna be hard to kind of wade through the madness and find. I really gotta find where the band was. I'm 45 minutes late right now. But they performed, I think, at the college game day. Um, I don't know, they have like a big stage where they do all the shenanigans, so. And right now, I'm with the masses where I don't, I don't need to be with the masses. I need to be where the insiders go, and I don't know where that is, so it might be a challenge. So this is where the fun begins. I'm gonna start scoping out different entrances and see which one I could possibly get into. Uh, I know I mentioned this before, but I have never done this, guys. So I feel like, <laughs> uh, you know, the biggest, second biggest college football game in the country, you know, I'm definitely swimming with sharks right now. And uh, what is it, trial by fire? <laughs> we'll see though, we'll see. So it looks like they're scanning. Yep, they have a little turnstile, it's one in at a time. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure how I could 
get around that. <sighs> Man, I don't know if this is gonna go well. I, it probably won't. <laughs> but uh, no, no, I gotta be positive. I gotta be positive. It will go well. Something good will happen. And if I don't get in, I'll just watch the game outside of the stadium and make some friends. It'll be a good time either way. So they're gonna walk around all this madness and then take an escalator down. Got gotcha. like one of you in your right for video. Okay. Do I need uh, my credentials on? Uh. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. All right. I don't know how you're right now. Since we're going to pick up your mic. Okay. Gate one will help you. Thanks, man. Mercedes Benz Regions. Gate one. Hey, can I ask you a question? I'm looking for the media entrance. White ten. White ten. Gate. I'm sorry. White ten. I ten. White. Oh, white ten. Okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so we pick up the credentials at some will call thing. It's like a ticket booth. Damn straight. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't know. The name I was going to use is actually a member. It's someone I know that works in the stadium, and I don't know who this would be. Let's see. If you're having ticket issues, please see a ticket attendant at any entrance. I'm with, uh, I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Okay. You know, I don't have it, actually. Uh, I looked in the hotel. I'll go grab it. Sorry. Right. Thanks. All right. So, I figured I could use my charm and try to get a little something, something from the ticket guy, but first thing he said was ID and uh, I'm not about to commit identity theft <laughs> and I wouldn't even know whose name to put on an ID anyway so that's not happening um, I guess we're gonna try to get in where the band goes but I don't know where that is let's find out hey excuse me do you know where they're doing the um, like the college game day like where the band does the pep rally and like the pregame stuff uh, well, they got an ESPN up there by the Home Depot back yard, right about G. They're up there? Okay, thank you. Alright. Alright, so Homegirl just told me to go back to where I came from, which is going to be pretty embarrassing considering I went by the media ticket. Like, I have to walk by the media will call place where I was just basically rejected. So that's going to look a little sketchy. But I don't want to walk around this whole goddamn stadium. It's pretty large, so... This is tougher than I thought. I'm kind of losing faith, but I'm gonna try every last effort that I can. <laughs> All right. So now the strategy is I'm gonna go to the most crowded gate and hopefully they're just so overwhelmed that my story will get me in. Say a quick prayer, my fellow followers. Namaste. Okay. Look, sir, that bag is not going to be able to come in. Oh, I can't bring my bag in? No. Clear it bag. is clear oh. bag policy. Oh, are there lockers or? Um, yeah, so if you see that kind of rider truck back there, behind yeah. that is bag check. Okay, cool. Where's thanks. gate one? Gate one is right down. All right, so the situation now is uh, I cannot bring my bag in. I need to check it into a locker. So I'm going to check to see how much it is. Um, hopefully it's not too expensive because, I mean, the whole point of today was not to spend much money. Yeah, I would go back in the media entrance, but I don't have a good feeling about that. I don't think they're going to let me in, so I think this is my only option. All right, on the bright side, I made it to the World Congress Center. That's where the band was performing, and this is where I can say, oh, I just missed the band and blah, 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 let me in. So hopefully uh, it works out. So I just found the uh, college game day situation. So this is where we should be. This is where the band was. And uh, it's just a matter of talking to the right person and letting me in the right door. Okay guys, I have some good news. I met a friend. This is Carly. She's a high school friend. And 
She's with a big group, fortunately, and so I'm gonna try to sneak in the middle of all of them. But I'm still with the media. I don't know. Do you think it's gonna work, Harley? Oh, but I, I don't do. know if it's gonna work, oh, but, but yeah. it's worth a shot. Fuck it. Either way. Nothing left to lose. Yeah, nothing to lose. I mean, Here we go. Um, so she's got, well, I've got both her, both of our tickets on. Okay, no worries. One out of time, one out of time. All right, let me know, uh, let me know how we can, how we can best. Well, I mean, it. just go in, and then, like, if they say no, I'll be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that works. Yeah, yeah, be like, okay. He's with the Red Coast, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, man, I'm with the Red Coast. Uh, they didn't give me a physical ticket, but... I'm, I'm doing media for them. The marching band. I can't get you in through here because it's locked. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, right. I'm looking for a green hat. A green hat? See one right okay. there? Okay. Alright. So I'll catch up with y'all. Thanks. Cool. Thanks, man. Hey, excuse me. Could you help me get the attention of the woman in the green hat? I was told to get her for... I'm with the red notes. I'm trying to get in. They didn't give me a physical ticket, but... I, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I tried to get in the turnstile, but I'm, I don't have a physical ticket. I'm with the red coats. I'm doing their media, but they didn't. You have to. All right, you have to go to the. You have to go to the window. The windows over there, uh -huh. and you'll have to get a media credential. Well, that's the thing. I'm an intern, so they didn't give me the physical credential. Well, call who's supposed to call somebody to get you in. Okay. Call your like, person. Come up here. Well, they're not gonna be able to just walk in. They gotta figure out a way to get you in. Uh -huh. Get you on a credential list. Or something. Okay. So as you can see, it's pretty chaotic. Uh, I think that's a good thing. I'm gonna take advantage of the chaos. Everyone's overwhelmed, so maybe they'll cut me some slack. Hey man, how you doing? Thanks. All right, no dice. Next man, strategy. Where, where Next strategy is the media tent, the one that I. Tried to go in before, but got kind of sketched out. But now that it's so crowded, maybe I'll have some more luck. I'm not sure. But they're all about the credentials here, so they might uh, ask for that again. But I'm just an intern. They didn't give me credentials. Right, guys? Okay. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to fight. When I run, you go. It's only employees and uh, that come through this way, so you gotta go that way. Yeah. Yeah. Go, you see where that soccer ball is? Go all the way down there. That might be the path. Yeah. Thanks, brother. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. The thing is, I'm an intern, and they give me the pass, but they just told me to come in. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I'm with media. Your media? Yes, ma'am. Do you have like a, a lanyard or? Nah, they're, they're gonna give it to me when I get in there. They... Okay, let's go with that. Shit. Sorry, they just told me to. Uh, all right. All right. I'll see if I can call my guy. No worries. Thanks. I did it. I got in. I got in. I got in. Oh my god. I got my wristband. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got in. I got in.
my god. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I got in. I got in. I got in. Oh my god. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Look, I got a media wristband. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot believe that just happened. Okay, so I walked up to the media booth and I said my name is blah blah blah. They said you're not on the list. So as she was looking at the list, I took a picture of the list. And I zoomed in on the picture, just saw a random name, Michael McWiggin. Shout out Michael McWiggin if you're watching this. So I told that name to a different person at the media booth. And sure enough, they fucking gave me a wristband and there's like, where's your badge? Because you gotta, gotta you have to have a badge. And I was like, oh my boss, my boss is in there, he's got the badge. And so I made it to the turnstile. There was like two or three different people I had to go through, right? And I made it to the turnstile, the last checkpoint before the entrance. And the lady was like, oh, you got a wristband? Cool, where's your badge? And I was like, I told her the same shit. And she's like, you can't go, I can't let you. So I pretended to text my boss. And uh, then there was like a group of belligerent guests that came to the front and they were being assholes. And they left, she like kicked them out. And then I went up to her and I was like, listen, I know, I'm, I'm sorry, I know you're busy, but I got my wristband, can I just go through? And she's like, you got your wristband? Just go through. So we are in this bitch oh my god i can't believe it oh my god guys free tickets oh yes honestly so unbelievable that i got in guys i really didn't think it was gonna happen security was really tight i tried i don't know five or six different ways to get in and didn't even get close at any one of them, but that media booth, for some reason, I, uh, it worked. I was just persistent, man. I tried five, six different ways, saw a little weakness in the, in the, in the media booth, and here we are, man. Holy shit. Guys, I have never snuck into places. This is, I've never done this. And here we are in like the most exciting football game of the year for free. All I spent was five bucks to check my bag. And that's it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you guys, and not to mention, I have a media pass. So I don't know, I think I can go a lot of places with this. I don't know, I just walked down to the field level, not like actually on the field, but the closest seats to the field. And I just waved my badge and I was like, yeah, let me through. All right, boss, let me through. <laughs> so let's uh, let's test the limits here. Let's test the boundaries, how far we can go here. But either way, we're in. Guys, we're already winning. We've won. We've won today. We have a free ticket. Holy shit. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being part of this journey. I appreciate you. Let's keep it going. Hey, man, I'm with you. Where do I get down to the field at? Where's the field access? Field access. Yeah. So I'm here in the tunnel to get to the field level access. Am I being too ambitious? Probably. But we're in here, we might as well fucking send it.
Hey, tunnel one? Yeah. I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm with media. I'm just going on the field. Shit, actually, I might have left it in the suite. Hold on, let me call my boss. Sorry. All right, so I can't get on the field. They asked for their credentials, or at least with that lady. Maybe I'll come back later, but I don't want to risk it too much because the game hasn't even started. <laughs> so let's watch a little bit of the game, guys, before we start sending it too hard. Wow. Unbelievable, guys. Look. Not only did I get in, but I'm backstage at the biggest football game in the country. This is incredible. Thank you. Again, thank you so much for joining. So I want to show you guys how good my uh, seat is. So right where I'm standing is all the box seats and like the press box and it's a very nice area. Look at this. I'm not sure how much people pay for these seats, but there must be a lot. Hey bro, can I ask you a question? How much, how much are these box seats going for? Right here. Yeah, you have to go online. Oh, okay. Yes, I got yes, you. Yes. Okay. No Either way, it was fucking free, and I'm sure it's very expensive. Like I said, nosebleed tickets for this were like five, six hundred bucks. So I'd say at least a couple grand for these. <laughs> the place where I'm sitting. Amazing. I'll tell you what. I made good friends with the handicap section security guard. We're homies now. We're like cheering together and yeah, I've been like popping around to other sections and the other security guards are a bit more stringent. They're like, where's your pass? Are you recording the game? Like, don't record the game. Bullshit, bullshit. So I found a cool homie. <laughs> Alright guys, the game's over. UGA lost, but it's fine. At least I got in the game, so not to worry. Now I'm back in the tunnel. I just got into the Mercedes lounge. It's some lounge at the field level. And uh, I'm gonna try to get on the field. I think it's pretty easy from here. Oh yeah. Guys, look at us. We made it to the field without spending any money. The only money I spent today was on my locker and on the hot dog and water I got. And that's it. Guys, we did it today. We fucking sent it and we succeeded. We took some risks. I've never done this. I didn't know if this was gonna work. And guess what? Look at where we are. It fucking worked. I can't believe it, honestly. I'm in as much shock as you probably are right now. This is crazy. Oh my god. I'm feeling like high right now. I feel high. I I just never thought I would be able to do this. Everybody told me it was impossible. And we fucking did it, guys. We did it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along for the journey. See you for the next one. Take care of yourselves. Peace. Roll Tide!